picture is up. Let's get quiet on set. Roll it when you got it, Brad. Scene 12, take one. Mark? Basically, we, we took the, the plot of jaded, lovelorn woman, um, bumps into old high school um, friend, and love ensues, and we tried to uh, make the characters a little bit more quirky um, and, and honest and, and just, just twist, twist that up a little bit. Uh, on Not About Coffee, it was a great project to work with all the actors because it was kind of a big ensemble cast. Um, and we got to work with like a lot of different characters. Uh, our main girl character, Rhea Lando, she played Vanessa. And Vanessa's kind of, uh, I wouldn't say like a, a beaten woman, but um, you know, she's had some heartbreak in her past. And she's kind of on this path to like, you know, set men straight. And that was a lot of fun because I hadn't directed any films with a lead girl actress. Going through the auditions, um, we went to quite a, a few, and both Rhea and and Brent they stood out. And then once we had them, um, you know, acting side by side, we just felt that at least me and Tom felt that there was like this nice connection and chemistry that we could play off uh, for them. The one thing I always look for in like an audition is basically uh, personality. Uh, I think a lot of the characters or a lot of actors come in with the character in their head and they kind of already have it figured out, you know? But I think if it's the actor is someone that you can get along with and they already have a good character in mind, you know, that's just what I saw with Brent. He came in and he had a good, like, uh, I don't know, I guess he was sensitive to the character as a cool guy and as a dork, and he had the handle on the whole, you know, uncomfortable, awkward, not knowing how to act around this girl that, you know, he went to high school with and hasn't seen for a while. Well, there was always a, a visual element in my head of how I wanted to see it and how to approach certain angles. And um, I worked with, uh, uh, I forget the name of the program, it was some 3D program that helped me put it all down on paper. And then uh, show that to Tom and we had an idea of how we wanted to approach it. And then just on set, how we would collaborate on framing and, um, and certain angles worked out pretty well. Well, um, like I said, Paul came to me with the initial structure and the idea um, for the characters, and then um, he he's a very um, visual storyteller, so a lot of the, the, the ideas surrounding the plot and the characters had to do with visuals. Um, uh, so for instance, there's Vanessa's character who um, works in this kind of nine to five position and I, I guess Paul wanted to explore that so that really um, we got to show how um, horrible that existence was on top of her existence as a um, broken-hearted woman um, so so that kind of influenced that character and then as far as my my two favorite characters were were the Chris character and the the Jenny character um, Chris being a, a geek in a cool guy's body. I thought that would be interesting to play with and Paul had some, Paul's whole um, idea of the, the kung fu action during the dinner scene I think really kind of is the, the, the climax of who his character is. He's the kind of guy who, who, who looks cool, who's very handsome, um, you know, he's, he's well built but when you get him alone and, and you get him kind of uh, nervous he turns into a, a 13 year old guy. In the script, yeah, there are two relationships going on. There's the past relationship between Vanessa and John, and that was kind of, you know, that was an interesting one to, uh, to work with and, like, figure out because, basically, Vanessa just despises this guy and hates him, and she feels that he ruined her life. Not ruined her life, but ruined her love life for the time and everything like that, and she's moved on from men. Is it wrong of me to ask you to choke him to death with that thing while you're at it? Oh, I, um, you... I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the Barbie doll. So, just a warning, sweetie, from a someone who should know. It starts off all ice cream and giggles, and then, well, just don't say I didn't tell you so, okay? The guy, Jeff Leaf, who played John, or, you know, you come up to a guy and like, okay, you're basically, you're a jerk, or you're the, you know, you're the asshole who kind of put this girl where she is, you know, and he had a lot of fun with it. You know, those high school girls, I can't complain, but, but you, it'd be like, Watching Back to the Future for the first time. I'm getting cold. Will you invite me in? And then 
with Chris and Vanessa. That was fun because everybody has, you know, the high school romance or the crush, and then you go away and everything changes and you come back and it's like, you know, I don't know, I, I still like you. I, I like the uh, I like the restaurant scene. Um, it's probably my favorite scene in the whole movie. Um, I think it worked. Um, everything worked about the scene. The lighting's great. The performances are really good. Um, I think the comedy works well there. The the dialogues. I just think the whole scene works well. And the subsequent scene after that, where um, where they're in the car together, um, is is my favorite scene of the entire movie actually. But um, I like both those scenes a lot. I thought there's a scene with them in particular after the uh, after they go to the restaurant they're in the car and they were both so I don't know I guess it was it felt really honest to me uh, the performance they were talking about and Chris is basically saying you know even though you were different in high school I still liked you and I I just didn't know how to show it then and you know I still don't know how to show it now and there's like a real good moment between them where she basically says you know yeah I'm you know I'm kind of the same way I. I wish, you know, I wasn't homecoming queen and I wasn't perfect, but, you know, I'm here where I am now and it's kind of nice. High school? I wish I could forget. Please, you were Vanessa Daniels. Okay, I mean, you, you, I mean, you weren't homecoming queen or valedictorian, but you, <laughs> no, I mean, you, you were you. You know, a lot of people knew that. Me, I'm the one that should take this thing down. I mean, I didn't even get a growth spurt until halfway through my junior year. That I do remember. <laughs> See? Well, you look like you grew up pretty good. I, I guess so. <laughs> I'm definitely happy with the end result. Um, um, visually, I think it came out really great. Um, the actors, they really, uh, I, f I felt they understood the characters really well and it portrays that. Um, and pretty much working with everybody uh, on set was really great and, and collaborating with Tom uh, was a definitely a great experience. Um, so I really played off of a lot of things that I've experienced in my life. And I think there's a little bit of me in there at some points, a little bit of Zach is in there. Um, definitely uh, people we knew came, in, came into the script. But, but we definitely want to make sure that Eric got the girl at the end of the script because <laughs> that never happens in real life. So yeah, we wanted was, to make it good for him. <laughs> yeah, it, this story is dedicated to him.